South Africa is at a critical juncture in its healthcare reform as the government pushes forward with the implementation of the National Health Insurance Scheme. Health Minister Dr. Aaron Motswaledi has taken a firm stance, declaring the end of private medical aids in the country as non-negotiable. Under the NHI, private medical aids will be significantly limited, only permitted to offer top-up coverage for services not included in the NHI. This shift marks a significant departure from the current healthcare model, which has long been criticized for exacerbating inequalities between the rich and poor. The NHI aims to provide universal health coverage, UHC, ensuring that all South Africans have access to essential healthcare services, regardless of their financial status. Motswaledi emphasized that the NHI is not just a policy, but a necessary step to address the deep-seated inequities in the country's healthcare system. Despite South Africa spending 8.5% of its GDP on healthcare, higher than many European countries, the distribution of these resources remains skewed, with the wealthiest minority receiving world-class care, while the majority struggle with substandard services. However, the road to implementing the NHI has been far from smooth. The proposal has met with considerable opposition, particularly from private healthcare providers and medical professionals who are concerned about its financial viability and potential impact on healthcare quality. Despite this resistance, Motswaledi remains resolute. He has made it clear that the NHI will be implemented, even if it means the collapse of the government of national unity. In this video, we'll explore the complex dynamics surrounding the NHI, diving into what it means for South Africa's healthcare system, the heated debates it has sparked, and the uncertain road ahead. But before we start, if you haven't already, we invite you to subscribe and enable notifications by ringing the bell to stay updated on our newest videos. The push to end private medical aids in South Africa is a central pillar of the National Health Insurance Plan, a transformative policy aimed at overhauling the country's healthcare system. This shift is designed to move South Africa toward universal health coverage, ensuring that every citizen has access to necessary health services without the risk of financial hardship. The journey to this point has been marked by significant developments, legislative changes, and growing tensions between the government and various stakeholders. One of the most critical developments is the inclusion of Section 33 in the NHI Act, which outlines the fate of private medical aids under the new system. According to this section, once the NHI is fully implemented, private medical aids will no longer be able to cover services that fall under the NHI's purview. This means that medical aids will be relegated to a supplementary role, offering top-up coverage for procedures or services not provided by the NHI. This drastic reduction in the scope of medical aids is intended to eliminate the dual health system that currently exists, where those with private insurance receive better care, while the majority rely on an underfunded public health sector. The NHI's phased implementation is another key development. The plan is being rolled out in stages, with the first phase focusing on strengthening the healthcare infrastructure, particularly in under-resourced areas. This includes upgrading hospitals, clinics, and training facilities, as well as increasing the availability of essential medicines and improving the overall quality of care. The second phase, currently underway, involves piloting the NHI in selected districts to identify and address potential challenges before the nationwide rollout. Despite these efforts, the NHI has been met with substantial opposition. Many in the private healthcare sector, including medical professionals and insurance companies, have expressed concerns about the financial sustainability of the NHI and the impact it could have on the quality of care. Critics argue that the NHI could strain the already overburdened public health system, leading to longer waiting times and a decline in service quality. Some have also pointed out the lack of clarity regarding the specific services that will be covered by the NHI, adding to the uncertainty and anxiety surrounding the policy. The South African government's stance on the NHI, and particularly on the reduction of the role of private medical aids, is one of determination and urgency. Dr. Motswaledi has been vocal about the need to move forward with the NHI, framing it as a necessary step to correct the historical injustices in the country's healthcare system. 
the government's position is that the current system, which heavily favors those with private insurance, is unsustainable and unjust, as it leaves the majority of the population with inadequate healthcare options. Financially, the NHI also presents a significant challenge. Critics have questioned whether South Africa can afford to fund the NHI, especially given the country's existing economic constraints. Some estimates have suggested that the NHI could cost the country up to 1.5 trillion rand, a figure that has been dismissed by Motswaledi as exaggerated. Despite these financial concerns, the government has allocated a substantial budget to the NHI, with a 3.5% increase in the health department's budget for the 2024 and 2025 financial year, reflecting the government's commitment to pushing the policy forward. In summary, while the South African government remains committed to the NHI and the phasing out of private medical aids, the policy faces significant challenges. From industry opposition and legal battles to financial constraints and political tensions, the road to implementing the NHI is fraught with difficulties. However, the government's stance is clear. The NHI is essential for achieving equitable health care for all South Africans, and it will proceed despite these challenges.